Hi guys, welcome back to Determined to Praise. Um, I have my friend Tayana here with me and she's going to be the one I interviewed today. So first off, I want to say um, I really pray that you guys enjoyed last week's video. I pray that you guys are really getting some kind of understanding from this stuff that maybe is just giving you new clarity on who God is and what he can do. Um, I pray that you guys are having a great week, that you know you guys are just getting into the flow of things with school and work and everything else you got going for yourselves. Um, so for this month, you guys know that I'm just interviewing people. I'm just asking a bunch of questions on who God is to them and how far he's brought them. Um, just to give you guys more of an understanding because I know there are some people who just don't know or don't understand or maybe just are really, really unsure about, you know, who God is and what he can do. So today I have Tiana here and I'm going to interview her and ask her some questions. So I'm kind of named this your walk with Christ. So the first question I have is what was the thing that made you come to God? Well, that's a very, that's a very <laughs> lengthy answer, but okay. So I grew up in church, born and raised. So I've always knew of God, but never really had my personal relationship with him mm -hmm. until I want to say about maybe three years ago, four years ago now. Okay. Um, and that was, you know, the passing of my son. Um, it really draw me, drew me closer to God because that's all I knew. Like, I felt like my sanity, my emotional being, um, just my overall health was literally slipping out of my body. Like, it was being drained from me. So I knew either I was going to let it take me or I would just have to fight it with God. So that's definitely something that helped me to gain a stronger relationship with God. Okay. Okay. The next question is, it's like a two-part question, but not really. It says, what made you stay with God or what made you go and come back? So I know you said that you were kind of in church all the time. Okay, was there ever a moment where you strayed off? Everybody has moments where they oh, stray off and you yeah. start doing, <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> start yeah. doing what they want to do. Uh huh. So, okay, since you came back to God, after losing your son, you came back to God. What is mm -hmm. the thing that has made you stay? Um... Because I've, because of what I've saw, like everything that I seen after my son passed away, it put it in perspective. Like, okay, God is definitely real. Um, I remember a couple of days after we had his uh, viewing, I could not sleep. Um, I was, I guess you could say I was being tormented. Um, I would go to sleep and hear him cry. So I would wake up the times of his feedings and stuff like that. Um, so... When the couple of days after that happened to me, you know, I just woke up crying and, you know, uh, we ended up going to Sunset Lake uh -huh. in Millville. And we ended up going there just watching the sunset. And I just thought the sunset was so beautiful that day. Lo and behold, when I took a picture and showed somebody else, um, they was like, Ty, you don't see what's in the sky. And I'm like, no, what's in the sky? The sun, I know that. <laughs> but they were like, your son's face is in the sky. So when I looked and I saw his smile, I immediately cried and was like, all right, that was weird. I never had an experience like that before. And I was like, well, God is definitely real. So I have to walk this thing out. Um, and it happened a couple of times afterwards. Uh -huh. So it's just something, I guess, God's way of reminding me like he's okay. Yeah. And just keep following him because he has the plan. He has the ultimate plan for my life. So yeah. that's something I... And sometimes when it gets hard, mm -hmm. I do look at that picture to just remind myself, like, you know, I got to stay with it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, the next question is, how do you feel following God? Who child. It's going to be right, but it's worth it. it it's, I mean, it, it definitely, it, it gets rocky at times. Because yes. um, even, you know, me coming out of the depression, anxiety that, um, God took away from me with my son's passing. Um, you know, I still have to deal with the hurt of him being gone every day. And that doesn't get easy. And there's times where I I just want to be like, God, can you just close your eyes for today? Let me just wallow and just sit here. <laughs> like, I just don't want to do anything. But it's like, when you think of the things he brought you out of, it's just like, you have to keep going. And you want that relationship to kind of, you know, keep going. Everybody always asks me, like, Ty, 
like you're so strong and i'm like no i'm not strong trust me <laughs> it's because i'm believing and trusting in god to the point where i know that when i'm weak he gives me strength because that's in the bible so if i need anything all i have to do is just pray and go to my father and he will give me all that i need so i mean it gets tough that sometimes yes, but you just gotta keep going it's, it's so many benefits to just having that relationship with god and keeping that relationship with so I always feel like if you don't feel like quitting, you're not doing it right. Like, no, no, facts. Like yeah, if you literally. don't feel like quitting, you're not doing it yeah. right because you're gonna always want to quit. Exactly. Um <laughs> how did you feel when you weren't following God? Oh child, I was all over the mess. Uh, I was <laughs> I was a mess. So when I wasn't feeling uh when I wasn't, you know, in my relationship, mm -hmm. right standing, um, mm -hmm. I guess you can call me, I was the partier, you know bottles on me that was just who i was <laughs> but that was to mask what i was dealing with i was dealing with depression and anxiety so if anybody doesn't know depression makes you not care about life but anxiety makes you care about everything even to the detail mm -hmm. so i i had both of them suckers right. and it was just like a everyday constant i know there was times where i didn't even get out the bed i didn't even eat like I was in college at the time where I really was dealing with it. So my mom didn't know it was just me not going to class. I was just like, whatever. But the only time that I felt more like myself is when I was at that party scene, mm -hmm. drinking and walling and doing all that stuff. So it was, it was a mess. It was really a mess. Okay. The next question is, who is God to you? <sighs> that is, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know. Hold on. I know, but okay. <laughs> Who's God to me? God is someone that I know I can count on. And the thing that I feel like I've been dealing with a lot lately is trying to just trust God to be who he is, mm -hmm. but not trust him in a box of a person, if that makes sense. Because he does have, he does have human-like qualities and he understands what we feel as humans but i feel like a lot of times we always put him in this box of i can't trust him because i can't trust nobody else around me but he's not like mm -hmm. you can't put humanistic qualities on him mm -hmm. and that's something that i'm learning every day and just the fact to know that even when i choose to walk away or i choose to do what i want i know that after i deal with my guilt and after i deal with all that he's still there with open arms ready to forgive and ha and gives us the grace and mercy, you know, to continue. So I think that's just one thing that I've always hold dear to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and he is a father at the end of the day. Um, that's something that I also struggle with a lot too. Um, just knowing that if I ask him anything, cause I'm scared. I don't like asking people for nothing. I don't like even my natural fathers. Like I don't like asking because I feel like I don't want to be a burden to that mm -hmm. person, but there's times I need things and God knows I need it, but because I'm not opening my mouth to, to say, God, this is what I need from you. Mm -hmm. It's like, he's just like, okay, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. So I'm learning now that he is a father and I, I can come to him with all my emotions and feelings. Even if I just want to cry, I can do that because he is my father. So those are some things that I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next question is what has changed about you? Huh? Okay, so every, whoever knows me, they know that I'm such a quiet person. I don't like to, you know, come out of my shell. I want to be to myself, but one thing that I feel like got really worked out in me is to be more vocal, to be more outgoing. Mm -hmm. Like now I could go anywhere and strike, a, strike up a conversation with people, and I never was able to do that. So <laughs> I think he is really cultivating joy and confidence in me mm -hmm. so i think those are mainly the two things that really changed in me that i'm able to live in such a freedom to where i can smile and actually feel the smile mm -hmm. like it's just i don't know it's just a different feeling so <laughs> and this is the last question what is your favorite thing about god my favorite thing i think my favorite thing is about god is that no matter what you do, how you do, he's always going to come back just for you. And I love that scripture so much. 
um, about the 99. He's mm-hmm. using 99 for that one mm-hmm. because he cares about all his sheep. He cares about each and every one of us. He knew us before we were even here on earth. Mm-hmm. Like he knows us more than we know ourselves. And the fact that he will turn away from everyone just to reach for you and just to reel you in, that's like my favorite thing. Cause it's like, it's a lot of people in this world. Yes. <laughs> so it's like, you're coming back just for me. Right. Like I feel special. Yes. So just to have that kind of like person that you can always go to mm-hmm. and know that he will never turn his back on you. That's just my ultimate favorite thing. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, well, that's, that's all the questions that I have. Okay. So, um, I really pray that you guys enjoyed this video, that you guys just get more of an understanding of who God is. Um, If you guys have any specific questions or any interest that you guys would like me to speak on or maybe ask someone else more questions, please um put those in the comments below or you can even inbox me on Facebook. Um, If anybody's interested in even being interviewed themselves and being asked some kind of questions, um, inbox me on Facebook or comment on here below. I pray that you guys have a really great week, that you guys have a blessed day, that you guys stay encouraged, continue to push, continue to fight because it's going to always be hard, but just know that God is with you, that he has you, that you guys don't have to worry, you don't got to stress. Just trust in God and know that everything will work itself out. So have a great day, guys. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.